Hi, in this Shader Stories episode, we're going to create a billboard shader. This is the classic example of always having an object pointing at your camera, no matter where your camera is. This is going to be much more performant than the C Sharp version I've created previously because it's in a shader code. Let's get started. I've started with a standard Unity 3D project. Firstly, we'll set up a very simple scene here. Add a cube, which will just center at the origin. We're going to use this as our reference so we know when the billboarding is working. Then add a quad, which will center and then just move up to y equals one to position it just above the cube. Dragging in my example image of a house will drop that on the quad. This has created a materials directory for us and created a material and assigned it to our quad. Let's just change that to unlit transparent so we can see our house properly. As you can see, as we move the camera around, we rotate around it. Create a new shaders directory. Then right click, create shader, unlit shader. Let's call this standard billboard and dive into the code. We need to make two minor changes at the top of the shader file to make transparency work on this. Let's remove the original tags and add some new ones. We want the render type to be transparent and also to be in the transparent queue. We'll add the blend mode for the transparency using the standard blend source alpha 1 minus source alpha. This is the standard setup within a shader to make transparency work. Nothing fancy going on here. Going back into Unity, we can update the shader on our quad to be our new unlit standard billboard. Select the quad, then in the material, select unlit standard billboard. As you can see, that all works just as before. The difference is now we're using our custom shader. Now all the code changes we need in here are in the vert function. Here you can see that we currently have Unity object to clip pots. This is Unity's helpful optimization of the model, view and projection matrices, often called MVP. So we'll just expand these out in the code. This is functionally the same as what we started with, but now less efficient, but helps with the explanation. Here, mul is a multiplication, and if you haven't come across that before, there are lots of function prototypes, so the parameters can be lots of different things. In this instance, we're always multiplying a 4x4 four four matrix by a float 4 vector. To understand buildboarding, we need to understand a little bit more about what happens in each of these steps. The model matrix, Unity Matrix M, converts the points of our model into their position in the world. So for our simple quad, which is an object space, is centered at the origin. This means that the positions of the vertices are sort of plus and minus 0.5. Passing through the model matrix applies any translations, rotations, or scales that we have applied. So in our case, this will put it at offset y equals 1, so it would move it there. Next, we pass through the view matrix, unity matrix V. This takes our world coordinates and maps them with respect to the camera. The camera is fixed at the origin looking down the z-axis, and what we actually do is move the world rather than moving the camera. This is what the view matrix performs. It is at this point our model goes from facing us correctly to being rotated. So clearly there is scope for us to modify this to help us out, which we'll come back to in a minute. Finally, the projection matrix, unity matrix P, takes our 3D space and squashes it all down onto the camera clip plane, so we have a 2D thing to render. I think this last one is quite hard to conceptualize, so don't worry if you're struggling. I dug around for an animated visualization for this, and in the description below, I'll link you to an excellent YouTube video from 10 years ago by Jamie King. In this video, he has simulated the effect of each of these matrices and talks you through what they're doing, which is fantastic at helping you understand if you want that extra bit of context. Okay, so we haven't actually changed anything yet. How do we modify this so our object acts as a billboard? The key step was in the view transformation where we rotated the object from world space into our view space. But we don't want to do that. Actually, all we want to do is translate the object into our view. That way we don't rotate it, so it'll always be facing the camera. To achieve this, we'll do something fairly simple, but it may take you a few listens to get your head around it, as with anything shader related. To find out the translation we need to apply from the model to view, 
We can find the offset we need to apply by tracking where the origin gets mapped to and taking the difference. So start with our float for origin. Then we apply Unity Matrix M to map this into world space to give us the world origin, which is again a float for. Then apply Unity Matrix V to take us to the view origin. Then to find our world to view translation, we can take our view origin and subtract the world origin. Now we know how much we need to translate by to move from model space to view space. So we replace our view pause calculation. We are no longer using Unity Matrix V to transform our vertices. Instead, we simply take our world position and add on the translation we have just calculated. This will move our object from world space to view space without doing the rotation. So as long as our object is facing us in model space, our billboard should always be facing the camera, just like we want. Let's jump back into Unity and see if this works. This is looking great. As I move around the scene, we can see that this works as expected. The house still goes behind the box when I view it from below and stays in front from viewed from the top, but all the time it's happily facing us like a good billboard should. I hope you found this tutorial useful in some way. As ever, the code is available on GitHub and linked in the description below. If you have any suggestions for shaded tutorials you'd like to see, please leave me a comment. See you next time.